okay. couple of events are the PI planning, and then you have the system demo, you have the Scrum of Scrums, then you have the PO sync, the and the inspect and adapt. Let's look at uh, the sequence of events, how how these events and how how it's being done. So if you look at this diagram, let me highlight a few things. Um, is raise a pointer? Okay. So this is the RT, the one with the hat. So he's the RT. So you've got all the team members around here, and they are the Scrum Masters. So who comes to the Scrum of Scrums? The Scrum Masters. If your Scrum Master is not available, you could also get somebody, uh, a representative from from each of the teams who has an who has enough knowledge to 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 kind of come and um, address the dependencies or impediments. So your your RT facilitates the Scrum of Scrums. And then you've got your PO sync. So this is where all the product owners, they catch up. They discuss about any new initiatives or anything that's changed um, or anything um, that's impacting the current PI. Or, and also they can start discussing about future features, the future enhancements that need to be done. Now this PO sync can also be facilitated by the RTE and the product manager. Now, in some companies, you can combine both of these events, and that's called the art sync. So you could have one combined event, and if you don't want to spend uh, time on Scrum of Scrums and PO sync, you could do the art sync as a combined event, and that could be facilitated by the RT. Now, going back to the PI planning, the PI planning is, uh, is an event. It's, it's, it's like a big room planning. It takes place for two days. So you have um, upfront preparation for a PI planning. So you have to uh, prepare your uh, features, refine them, um, keep them ready, have a definition of ready for your PI. That's for your training. So my camera is just turned off. I'm just going to turn it on again. Yeah. So you have uh, this PI planning. Uh, this is uh, around. Uh, it, it goes in for two days, but some some in the remote world, um, I'd recommend you to uh, run it for maybe two days or three days. If if you if you want to kind of keep the the energy level high, uh, you could you could extend it for three days. Now in the PI planning, everybody comes in. You have your business, your architects, and everybody talks about the vision. Why are we? What are we doing? What's the mission? And what are we trying to accomplish? And the RTE then facilitates. Um, the PI planning runs through all the areas and then sends the teams out to the breakout rooms. And then they start the teams work together. They start planning. They start looking at their backlog. Now, when they look at their backlog, where does that backlog come from? So they have a team backlog. Where does it come from? It comes from the, from the program backlog. So you have a program backlog. And from there, you start extracting things that needs to go into each of these teams. So you may... So if you have five teams, you'll have five different backlogs for each of the teams. All the teams go into their breakout rooms. They start working. They start talking about uh, when they can deliver the features. They can write stories. And then they have to flag all the dependencies and the risks that that's going to happen for them. And this then gets goes back to the program board. Now, here in the payout planning, one thing you got to remember is in between your breakout sessions, it's good for the teams to go back and address these things. So your scrum masters of each of the teams could go into a, uh, could, could every one hour you could go back and to the, to the main room and start discussing what are the impediments, what's blocking, what are the dependencies. You could also encourage each of the team members, if you have a dependency, ask them to jump to other breakout rooms and start talking about it. Otherwise, if you start piling things up, and then you, you, you're, going to, you're going to lose track and you wouldn't get your impediments addressed and your dependencies would, would stay. And you, you don't want to keep it till the end. So I, uh, I encourage most of my teams to, to start addressing them as soon as possible. And that's when you know which team is going to deliver what and at what period of time you want your, your uh, dependencies to be resolved. Now, this uh, PI planning is, is, as I mentioned, it's for two days. But the whole PI cycle, your whole program increment could be between eight to 12 weeks. Um, ideally, four sprints or five sprints. So if, you, if, you, if you're going with five sprints, you'll have about with one uh, innovation planning. So that's about 10-week cycle. 
and uh, the cadence is is common. So you could go follow um, a one week or two week sprint, and uh, you could go through four sprints plus innovation and planning. Now, apart from that, there's also something called a system demo. The system demo is uh, is not your is not your team demo. It's the the integrated element elements of of everything. So you have your team one, team two, team three. Everybody integrates this, and you have what the train has delivered in one sprint. So that demo takes place after each and every every iteration, and that's where you get the feedback from uh, the product owners, the product managers, the stakeholders, and everybody gives you feedback. And then you start looking at it and then working towards that. Now, before you go into a PI planning, if you're if you are initiating this for the first time, I'd recommend you to prepare your PI planning, have solid preparation, think about all the things that you require before you start initiating a train. You have to have your backlog ready. You've got to have them refined. You have all the team members. You have uh, um, the train roasters. You have a uh, the RT recognized, the scrum masters, the product owners, who's going to be the architect, get everything prepared before you actually launch a train. And if you look at this inspect and adapt, so that's uh, one of the major events that takes place within the innovation and planning. So as I mentioned, if you if you were using a five sprint, yeah, five, that's 10 weeks, you'll have four sprints worth of work that's being done and one sprint in the end, it's called the innovation planning, and that's when your inspect and adapt workshop takes place. Now, this inspect and adapt workshop has a couple of things. Uh, you um, do a PI system demo. Now, this is not an iteration demo, it's a PI system demo. What, what you've done in the last four sprints, you're gonna combine everything, coordinate everything, and then provide a demo for that. And then the RT will also represent or will, will present the program metrics. So the metrics could be um, your uh, what features have been done, what enablers have been completed, what's not been achieved, and uh, it could also be um, what are what are the things that uh, each of the teams have enhanced or improved. So all these areas you can you can focus on, um, and also it gives you more opportunity to to tackle um, uh, regarding the, the the things that's not been complete in 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 the feature in the uh, PI and what what you're going to carry forward to the next PI. Now, what you see within the circle, within the inner circle, is, is what a team does. So a team does a iteration planning. So it's like a sprint planning, a daily stand-up or a daily scrum. Then you've got the iteration review. That's nothing but your sprint review. All, this, all these are team-level activities. And then you've got an iteration re retro, your retrospective, uh, and a backlog refinement. Now, that is, so these, the, the, what you see in the inner circle is for the team. Now, you could also run backlog refinement session at the train level, so to refine your features. And you could run that on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis, depending on how mature your backlog is. Now, one thing I, I want to mention is uh, there's a time box for Scrum of Scrums and the PO Sync. It could last between 30 to 60 minutes. Um, and you could, you could do daily as well. That's not a problem. But if you want to do it uh, in a week, two or three times, yeah, you could invest about 30 minutes for uh, for each of the events. Right, now I wanna show you something that's more